The fall of Liverpool continues. Guardiola has sorted out the matter with Mourinho. Juventus is losing to Napoli. Milan and Zlatan stumbles in the match with La Spezia and Barcelona intimidates PSG ahead of the future clash. The day turned out to be heated and highly intriguing, as we love it to be. The Champions League returns on Tuesday and it seems to us that it's time for some of you to finally give us a subscription. You don't want to miss all the most important news from your favorite tournament, do you? Don't waste your time then and subscribe right now! Friends, who do you think will advance to the next round of the UCL? Barcelona or PSG? Write your predictions and arguments in the comments below. Now, we ask each of you to give a like to this video. In that way, you'll thank us for the hard daily work. Thanks to all for your acts of support. We are giving you fraternal hugs. Let's get going! Messi has scored 66 long-range goals in the last 10 seasons in La Liga, more than any club other than Real Madrid and Atletico. Barca is in a good shape and seems confident. We will play against PSG at the right moment, said Kuman. Milan's first well-deserved defeat of the season. Nothing worked, admitted Stefano Pioli. Barca have won seven La Liga matches in a row. We are looking forward to playing against PSG in the Champions League, claimed Ricky Puch. Griezmann gave two assists in the match against Alaves. He is tied for the first place in the list of La Liga assistants. Antoine has six of them. Messi scored his 14th and 15th goals in a La Liga season and came in second on the list of scorers. Suarez has 16 goals. Milan have lost three of its last five matches. The derby against Inter is scheduled for February 21st. For the first time, Mourinho's club has conceded eight goals in two games. Messi made his 505th appearance for Barca in La Liga. He repeated Xavi's record. Man City have six consecutive home clean sheets in the league for the first time in 119 years. And that repeats the club record. Man City won in 16 straight games, 11 of them being clean sheets. The total score is 43-5. Tottenham has five defeats in the six last matches. Ederson made the second assist in the Premier League, passing the ball to Gundogan from his box in the match against Tottenham. Azar is already back on the pitches and doing well. We hope he can work with the rest of the team next week, said Zidane. Lorenzo Insigne is the seventh player to score 100 goals for Napoli. Gnabry has a left eye injury. He will probably miss the first Champions League leg against Lazio. Former Milan striker Alexander Pato moved to Orlando City. His contract is valid for a year. Ancelotti's house was robbed. The thieves have taken out a safe. Liverpool has lost three Premier League games in a row for the first time since 2014. Rodgers was a coach back then. James Milner was injured in the battle against Leicester and was unable to finish the match. From that moment, Liverpool has nine injured players. PSG wants to sign Gianluigi Donnarumma. The player hasn't yet renewed his contract with Milan, which expires in summer. Real Madrid representatives are asking Ramos and Vasquez to cut their salaries in order to be able to pay bail 30 million euros in the 2021-22 season. Alaba, Koulibaly, Koundé and Pau Torres are on the Real Madrid list for the centre-back position. Barca will pay 5 million euros in bonuses for Dembélé after he made an appearance against Alaves. His transfer amount can be reached to 135 million euros. Klopp has 300 games at the head of Liverpool. He is the ninth coach to succeed in such a result. There were many matches to observe yesterday. The recent results are on your screens. And now it's time for us to dive into the review of Saturday's fixtures. Of course, we are going to talk about the matches played. In Liga 1, Lyon presented a gift to PSG, losing in a home match to Montpellier. 1-2. The only goal from the kits was provided by Lucas Paqueta. Thus, Rudy Garcia's team was dropped to third place, whilst PSG won its tie. In a tough duel, the Parisians got the upper hand over Nice, 2-1. Draxler opened the scoreline, then the guests equalized with the efforts of Ronnie Lopez, but the last word remained it with Pochettino's team. Moiskin's accurate shot made the winner clear. Paris came out on top, but Lille has a game in hand. In Bundesliga, all five Saturday matches ended in draws. 
We highlight two results there. Bayer did manage to beat Mainz at home with 2-2. And Borussia Dortmund played with Hoffenheim with an identical score. The leaders Jaden Sancho and Erling Haaland netted for the Hornets. Borussia is sixth in the table and has a very low profile season. Even the qualification for the Champions League seems questionable. Next one, Premier League, and a sensational result took place here once again. Liverpool has lost. This time, club's team failed to withstand Leicester City. It all started well for the Reds. Salah slammed the opener in the 67th minute. However, the Foxes found the strength for a comeback. Madison leveled on the 78th, Vardy took advantage of the mistakes of both Allison and Kabak by rolling the ball into an empty net in the 81st minute. The last hit of the match was struck by Harvey Barnes. 3-1, and Liverpool is in danger of losing their Champions League slot today. After the match, Jurgen Klopp admitted that Liverpool wouldn't be able to defend the championship title, answering the journalist's question with a convincing yes. Poor Klopp. What a sad spectacle he finds himself in. The main match of the day was the battle between Manchester City and Tottenham, Pep Guardiola vs. Jose Mourinho. This is a world class. Unfortunately, there was no decent battle. Man City is too good to be stopped. 3-0. On the 23rd minute, City finally found their penalty taker in the person of Rodri. It's funny that the goalkeeper of the citizens, Ederson, wanted to take the 11-meter shot. But Bernardo Silva stopped him. And he did the right thing. Rodri was cold-blooded enough to succeed. After the halftime break, Ilkay Gundogan shone. The German made a brace. Man City strengthened its leadership, breaking away from the closest pursuer by seven points. Serie A in turn hosted two big occasions. Firstly, Milan lost to La Spezia 2-0, and now Inter has a chance to beat the Rossoneri at the head of the table. Secondly, Juventus also failed to gain points. In the central match of the day, the Oleti lost to Napoli 1-0. The only goal was on Insignia's account. Lorenzo converted a penalty. Cristiano Ronaldo performed not at his best conditions. His miss from 3-meter spot was a subject of discussions. The Portuguese always made use of such. The last stop, La Liga. Atletico continues to rush for the league gold. Madrid had a difficult trip to Granada and they withstood the rivalry. In the 63rd minute, Marcos Llorente was able to put his team ahead. Three minutes later, Herrera equalized, but Angel Correa managed to bring the precious three points to the lost Colchoneros. Yeah, that's the way the championships must be taken out. Headed by Ilaix Moriba, the 18-year-old new top talent of Barcelona. He is the youngest Barca player to make an assist in his debut in La Liga. Messi was especially pleased with the boy's success and was one of the first to congratulate him. After the match, the kid admitted that he would keep everything safe after this match. Both boots and a t-shirt. I was a little nervous. I played at a stadium with a great history, and when I looked up, I saw Messi and Griezmann in front of me. Yeah, we totally understand you, Legs. But it's time to get back to the match. Channel. It goes about the first meeting of Neymar and Messi in the football pitch. That is highly recommended for you to watch. It was Football News. Thank you all for watching, have a nice one, and see you in a bit!